Hi, this is Dennis from Ableton, and I'm going to introduce you to the APC Mini from Akai Professional. The APC Mini is a dedicated controller for Ableton Live, and it comes with a copy of Live Lite, so you can get started making music right away. For this video, I'm going to be using the Suite edition of Ableton Live to demonstrate some additional functionality, which we'll talk about later. Live should auto-detect the APC Mini as soon as you connect it to your computer. You'll know it's working because Live Session View will show a colored ring around an 8x8 block of clips. This corresponds to the 8x8 block of clips and tracks that are controlled by the APC Mini. If the automatic setup doesn't work, you can fix this in Live's preferences by going to the MIDI Sync tab and selecting the APC Mini from the control surface and input and output choosers. The 8x8 button grid represents an 8x8 grid of tracks and clips in Live Session View. Unlit buttons are empty. Amber buttons contain clips. Green buttons contain playing clips. Flashing buttons have been triggered but have not yet launched. If a track is armed for recording, pressing a pad in the button in that track will start overdubbing a recording. A recording pad will be red. Pressing a pad launches the corresponding clip. Pressing an empty pad stops any playing clip in that track. You can launch a whole row of clips at once via the Scene Launch buttons on the right. Or stop the playing clip in a track by pressing the dedicated Clip Stop button for that track. Clip Stop buttons will light red if a clip is playing in that track. You can stop all playing clips by holding the Shift button and pressing the 8th Scene Launch button. You can shift the position of the 8x8 button grid by one track left or right or one scene up or down by holding Shift and pressing one of the first four Clip Stop buttons. These buttons will light red to indicate that you can navigate in that direction and will be unlit if there are no more tracks or scenes in the corresponding direction. By default, the faders control track volumes. The first eight faders adjust the volume of the eight selected tracks, and the ninth fader controls the master volume. You can change what the first eight faders control by holding Shift and pressing one of the four rightmost clip stop buttons. The options are written under the buttons, and you can hold Shift to see the currently selected fader mode. Note that the ninth fader always controls master volume. To use the faders to control track panning, hold Shift and press the Pan button. To use the faders to control track send levels, hold Shift and press the Send button. Hold Shift and press Send again to switch to the next available send. You can repeat this to cycle through all available sends. To use the faders to control the first eight parameters of the currently selected device, hold Shift and press the Device button. The currently selected device will have a blue hand in its title bar. Here, I'm controlling filter cutoff and resonance for Live's auto filter device. To learn which parameters can be controlled for each built-in Live device, check the Control Surface Reference lesson available from Live's Help View. Holding Shift while pressing any one of the first five Scene Launch buttons changes the functionality of the Clip Stop buttons. The options are written to the right of the buttons, and you can hold Shift to see the currently selected option. To solo tracks, hold Shift and press the Solo button. Then press the corresponding track button. You can press multiple buttons at the same time to solo multiple tracks. And you can press any soloed tracks button again to unsolo all tracks. To arm a track for overdubbing or recording, hold Shift and press the Record Arm button. Then press the corresponding track button. Now you can record or overdub into a clip by triggering its clip slot. In this example, I'm overdubbing send automation.
To mute tracks, hold Shift and press the mute button. Then press the corresponding track buttons. Muted tracks will have an unlit track button, while active tracks will have a red track button. To change which track is selected, hold Shift and press Select. Then press the corresponding track button. The selected track will have a red track button, and its devices or clip detail will be visible in live. So that's a quick introduction to using the APC Mini with Ableton Live.